Oh, put, it, put it out the word Mr. slavery Bundy. in this day and age. It's uh, something Bundy. that's not. Well, let me tell you something. Mr. Bundy, so we don't get sidetracked on this deal. Can you tell the American people exactly how Harry Reid stands to profit by using the militia called the BLM to take this land from us, the people that live here in Nevada? I, I might be able to do that, but I wanted to talk about this, this here. You know, I might not have a very big uh, word base or what a vocabulary, I guess. But let me tell you something. When I say such um, like language, exactly. I mean slavery. I understand what slavery's all about, and I no question in my mind about that I don't know what slavery's about. Slavery is about when you take away choices for people. And I and where you have forced labor, and you transfer people and sell them and all of those kind of things. You think that's what America's all about? You think that's what I'm about, America? If it is, you're sure wrong, because I, I don't believe in any of that type of stuff. I believe, believe that a man should have... Sir! Sure. Yes, sure. Sir, do you believe it's irresponsible for the media to spin what you said uh, and take your words out of context, out of the true spirit of your meaning? Well, the, I, I feel like it's their opportunity to do whatever they want with the, in the media, and, uh, and that's sort of their individual. Say and that I again. I that's standard operating them, procedure. I do say one thing. Uh, because the media maybe twist things a little bit, and maybe they don't, but it gives America opportunity to discuss this. And this thing about slavery and about Negroes and about uh, 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 government uh, uh, subsidies and the slavery that they put the people in when they um, did them, that needs to be discussed. And America's ready to discuss it. Let's do it. Yes, sir. <laughs> and not to fight us. Another question, please. You mentioned your views changed two days ago uh, regarding the uh, Watts riots. What happened two days ago? Well, I'll tell you, I woke up in the morning and uh, got to thinking about this. Remember what I'm thinking about. I'm thinking I want to involve the ethnic groups uh, here in, in this, in this uh, movement where we're in. And I'm thinking about two two groups, of, mainly. I'm thinking about the, the Negro group, the black people, and I'm thinking about the, the Spanish, the American uh, people. And uh, what I, I'm thinking about my experiences with them, and of course one of the biggest, probably one of the biggest fears I had in my life was when I have two cars to throw the black guys right in the middle of Watts Riot and uh, going down a freeway without any kind of protection is almost as bad as being here without the county sheriff. <laughs> But these thoughts come to me, and then all of a sudden, I guess maybe it's inspiration or stuff, I start thinking, those people weren't my enemies, they were my friends. They were there to protect me, and they did protect me. For 20 miles, they drove along the side of me and protected me. If anybody knows about the uh, uh, Watts riots and Harbor Freeway, you can know what I'm talking about here. So, Clyde, you would say you're welcoming to all races. Well, sure, I'm welcome to all races. Haven't you heard me talk? I mean, I'm... I'm Are you <laughs> uh, You know, I, I see this uh, this movement going around the world. I talked to some uh, on the radio, I think. Uh, I don't remember what it was last night or this morning. She said, you're talking to 72 countries. I'm not talking to just you, the media here. I'm talking to America. And I'm talking to the world, and what I want to see the world have is that individual freedom and liberty to be able to express herself. That's what America's all about. Amen. Amen. Mr. Bundy, do you feel like your words are being taken out of context and uh, used by other folks just uh, to twist it? And I think we all speak a little differently across the country, and one word here doesn't mean the same elsewhere. So when we, especially when we start crossing countries, sometimes words are misconstrued. But, you know, I, I, I'm bit, I've been so busy that I haven't been reading papers and I don't get to watch the TV. And, it, you know, it really don't matter to me if you twist my words up. Uh, and I don't even like this uh, interview here today. It, it don't matter what how you do it. It matters that my heart goes out to the people of this world, and they understand what I stand for and what I what I, why I'm standing here. 
And I, you've got to remember, it's, I don't want to represent just Clive and Bundy here. I want to represent you people in this world and you as, as individuals. And that's why I keep bringing the Constitution in. I believe that the United States Constitution is the most perfect and wonderful document on earth. And it is, it is designed for the individual, not for the states, and not for the county, not for the communities, not for the black, not for the white. It's for the individual, each one of us in this world. If we could understand our Constitution and bring our government close to we the people, and, and we the people be the sovereignty, wouldn't we have a good world? deserve all the rights and protections under the law, just the same as you and your family? Yes. yes. Are, you, are you being represented by Larry Clayman, or what is his role, if any, in your uh, No. You're not? The the I've had offered for offers from very very you know lots of uh, lawyers and uh, lots of politicians and I don't they, none of them represent me and uh, I, uh, I I don't represent you I represent myself and I hope that I can speak for we the people. Back into a course at some level. How are you going to afford that? You're one guy. Well, what I'm saying is, when you got guts enough to do it, you get it done. Yeah. 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 Great man, politically correct. Hey, Clive. Thank you, Mr. Bundy. We support you. Why don't you question it, Harry Reid, about his millions in the dirty land deal? Well, they want to turn everything into racist. Yeah. I think it would have matter if it is or not. Why are you trying to tear us apart when we're trying to bring everybody together? As a Mexican-American, you said, what, why, why do you believe that you need to inject Mexican-Americanism into your line of questioning? No, it's not about freedom. Obviously he did, and uh, people are going to stand divided, and I think that's the whole purpose of this, is to uh, cause division. So. As a Mexican-American, you should know that we're protecting you. Don't give any interviews, go to the Oak Keepers. Is it Stuart here? Yes, it is. You have my I don't think anybody be, ought to be afraid of asking questions. There's nothing wrong with asking questions. All you need is personnel. Thank you, Antonio. I think you did a good job. We gotta ask questions, right? Even if they're not comfortable for you, if you can't uh, if you can't take a question, then maybe you're seeking confirmation bias. Freaking liberal idiot. <laughs> <laughs>